Ceasefire extended Monday between Israel and Palestinian officials as Israeli troops remain positioned on the Gaza border. The Palestinians are asking for Israeli recognition of a Palestinian government that includes Hamas. In the meantime, the ceasefire brought comfort to the besieged people in the Gaza Strip. Here's our correspondent in Gaza, Noor Harazin. An announcement of a new five-day ceasefire brought comfort to the residents of the Gaza Strip. Despite the truce's shaky start with several Israeli air raids on northern and eastern Gaza, the Palestinian militants are holding fire, giving the chance for Palestinian political officials to negotiate on a long-term truce. The Israeli side manipulated our words. Our demand were a game to them. That's why we couldn't reach a long-term truce, but the Palestinian delegation united and they demanded that Gaza be granted its rights. We felt no difference between the Palestinian factions. Hamas, Islamic Jihad and Fatah were all one. Meanwhile, life returned to the coastal enclaves streets, with the Palestinian people managing to go grocery shopping, trying to stock up on as much food supplies as they can fearing that their life will be dominated by truces and ceasefires. The Palestinians managed to cooperate during hard times ships over the past years, like the lack of fuel, 16 hours of electricity cut per day and the siege. Now we fear that this operation will go on and it will become part of daily life for us with the truces every now and then. However, the Palestinian people are showing steadfastness and strength. Despite all hardships Gaza has been through over the past six weeks, the homes of Omar al Nimr and his bride Hiba Fayyad was destroyed by Israeli attacks during the month-long offensive. And like hundreds of thousands of other Palestinians, the two were forced to take shelter in schools of the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. On the third day of a 72-hour ceasefire in Gaza, Omar and Hiba got married in a UN shelter in Gaza City. Regardless of all the pain and suffering the Palestinian people went through, they insist to create happiness and hope. Noor Harazin, Telesu TV, Gaza. And thanks again to Noor.